What's up, Dan? So, anyway, uh, the plan for today, actually, now that we are back, is I'm going to try to uh, mount the front splitter onto the front bumper and then maybe get some canards, though those may be, have some fitting issues. Anyway, that's the plan. Got everything up in my room where it's not too chilly out and it's out of the way and it's clean, which is dope. So I'm gonna have to clean up a bit, move everything around, and then we shall get started. So actually fairly hyped on this one because theoretically the bumper should be done today. But realistically, it probably won't be done for another two weeks. But, but I had black coffee and it's delicious and we're gonna get it wrong. Let's go. So here's what I'm working with today. We have the front splitter here. We have the struts to go on, one's on. Another one needs to go on over there. We have the support bracket that'll go um, on top of this to sandwich these two together. We have canard, canard that need to be fitted because I they work the old splitter and the old flare and stuff setup. Actually, now that I think about it, I can't put those on because I don't have the flares on. Anyway, so we're not gonna do canards, but then we have to sand and wrap this front plate, and then yeah, pretty much just get it detached and get these two attached. So. I'm probably just going to set you guys up on time lapse and you're going to chillax and watch it happen. And I really hope that it's semi interesting because, anyway, it'll be a lot of just watching me screw things in. But I'm hoping that it shorts that way we could at least get to something else today. But then again, I work and I'm not sure how much time this will take. So hopefully, fingers crossed, let's hope for the best and just get this knocked out of the park. That was really stupid again. Let's quick update, here's the problem I'm running into. So you see right here, this edge lines up really nicely um, with the lip in the front of the front. That's just a mess anyway, don't even worry about that lining up issues. But with the side, it's lining up really well, but when you come to the back side, I have put the bottom brace through and it's poking through, through the lip, but only this one is going through the actual front bumper. The other one is just off by about a centimeter. Let's see if I can show you really close. So here's the screw. It's a little out of focus, sorry, but here's where the um, the hole is. So I could pull this back, but then it wouldn't line up quite right. So I'm trying to figure out what entirely to do. Um, there is a latch right there, so it isn't completely necessary to get all three, but of course you'd like to do it as best you can. So I'm at least going to try to get this one on just to hold it down so the bumper doesn't keep folding forward and then maybe finish up hooking up the front and we'll get back to it. So. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So let's hook up the back one and then continue on with the front. So the main part of the splitter is actually mounted now, which is awesome. The lighting is awful, which is fantastic because that's usually what it is. So what I'm thinking is that so a lot of the bolts don't actually, or a lot of the bolts, two or four, I guess, two on each side didn't actually go in. Let me show you really quick. Oh, not gonna do it on that side. But back where we were, it was just one in the corner and this one right here. They just didn't go through and I probably just messed up the brackets, but that's the way it is. Anyway, uh, looking at it, it's pretty awesome. I got the five bolts in the main front, which is really what matters. I have to burp, tastes like coffee. Anyway, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah, let me show you guys in the front. Boom, it's on there, it's on there, awesome. I love splitters for cars, by the way. I would put a splitter on every car if I could. I just think they look dope. So up next, we're gonna try to attach the splitter rods, um, get those on there, and then maybe test fit the canards. I know I said we're not gonna do them right now because of the flares, but I wanna see if I can get the bases to fit semi-right. So let's just go ahead and get those splitter struts on. I'll put you guys down, we'll just get back to it. So we got those struts back on, which is great. Just a few quick bolts, finding them and getting them in was the hardest part. I don't know, that doesn't make sense, what I just said. But that's really, it's went a bit quicker than I thought it would. I mean, it was really just eight to 10 bolts tops anyway. So it's gonna be short progress anyway, but that's cool. Um, I forgot that I need to wrap this little center plate that goes right there. So I guess that'll be the next thing on the list, sand that, get it wrapped and get it back on the car. Alright, 
that is done. It's wrapped. It's a quality good enough job as per usual. And this will go right on the front. So that'll be going right here. Just a nice plate to cover that all up. Oop, hey yo, let's hold on to this. It's a nice plate to cover that all up. It'll get all riveted in. Um, this plate was just to cover up this weird, these weird lines where the license plate goes, because the license plate goes over there now, which I think looks better. Anyway, um, that's gonna go on now. But first, I smell awful. It's good for you guys that you guys can't smell me through here because I got super excited and didn't take a shower this morning yet. So I'm gonna go do that because it's long overdue. Let the battery charge, get some rivets coming back. I realize I can't do that yet because I don't have any rivets that are black. Yes, I do. I'm gonna get those rivets and then we're gonna come back. Okay, let's have the battery charge and I'll meet you guys back in what will be a couple, probably near 30 minutes for me and zero seconds for you. All right, we're back and looking fresh as ever. And it's dope. So, plan for next is, I said, we're gonna get that last plate on. Got it right here, and then that goes right there, just right over top. So, should be the final addition to this front bumper. I finally found the rivets and got a drill bit and a drill because I need to widen them out just a little bit because I'm doing different ones. But, that's really about it that we have for this front bumper. Um, after that, it's not going on because I have a 1JZ on the way. And so, I'm not gonna put the bumper on. Oh, someone's calling me. I'll be back in a second. All right, call's over, we're back. I'm just gonna rivet those in, and that will be it. So, time for me to shut up. We have ourselves a front bumper. So that's looking pretty nice with the satin black, on the gloss black with the black dress, just a tiny bit of silver. I was thinking about painting those black, but I think I'm just gonna leave them as is, because not only is it a bit more work than I wanted to do, but I'm not entirely sure how I'd get it to fully work without just looking completely slapped on. I mean, most of the stuff is slapped on anyway, but hey, that looks good. Thought I was getting another call there for us. Oh, all right, I'm not sure what I was just saying before that, but my phone kind of distracted me. Something's going on with charging. Anyway, this is looking great. I'm actually super excited about this. This looks dope. All right, so anyway, quick run through of what we did. Um, so the past few days, we wrapped the whole bumper. We did this front thing and we put the struts on. Um, I actually do have footage. No, I don't have footage. I do have footage, but I think I deleted the footage of me wrapping the front bump, front splitter because that was like six or seven months ago, long time ago. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do a quick test fit of the canards. It'll take like five seconds, then I'll get back to you um, and give you guys a quick update on that. And then that'll probably be it. But hey, not a bad day today. You know, I actually think that the canards might fit, which would be awesome because I love them and I missed them when I had my last setup. Yeah, let me show you. I can't hold it up with just one hand, so I'm gonna set the camera down and I'll show you guys what I mean. So, if we just tuck this right in there, I think that could work. Let's see if I can move my hand enough. Don't mind the curve specifically. Um, let me see if I can get you to actually, uh, you guys can see it. But that's what I'm thinking, and I'm thinking it looks pretty nice. Because, I mean, I'm not just thinking it looks pretty nice, it does look pretty nice. Um, another thing that I'd like is, so I had to patch the bottom half of this to make it extend a little bit more, because I messed up cutting it, even though I just flopped the template, so that was kind of dumb. But, yeah, I think if I pop that right in there, we'd be good to go, and it had a lot of that mistake too. So, uh, let me adjust in here. And raise this. That's really about it, all I have for today. Um, if you guys wanna see more progress on the build, actually, and you wanna get more up-to-date kind of things, check out my Instagram. Um, it's at Phil with Super, boom. I post probably once every few days, maybe really depending on how many pictures I have, or as updates happen, and I ask a lot of questions about the build, um, how I should be doing things, not like saying what type of like style like, but if I have any questions, I just throw them up on my story. Um, any build days where I need help, throw that up on my story. And any time I do an update like this, or this front fender is getting wrapped, that gets posted on Instagram, most likely before I actually post it on YouTube. Probably a few days at the best. Um, if you want to support this channel by help funding it, so that way I'm able to do more than just small things at once, go ahead and check out there. I put three links down below. I have PayPal. Um, 
Patreon and a GoFundMe. You know, do what you can. So, uh, no readers if you can't, but if you wanted to help support the build, that's how you do it. I don't have anything to sell right now, so I am sorry about that. Maybe one day I will, but right now, just kind of getting started is a little more than I can handle. Anyway, that's really about it. Don't want to ramble on too much. Don't forget to do the usual dislike, unsubscribe, leave it a hate in the comments. So, guys, bye. Cause I